Yeah, of course. Um, a win is a win. The management team asked for a win, and we went out there and actually win a game. But, you know, the circumstances in which we do it, you know, is something we have to look at, and there should be an improvement for the next game. Well, I wouldn't say the guys t took it lightly. Um, they were the batters out there, and they actually know what they needed to do at that point in time and what's the best option. And at the end of the day, we came out to the win, so we can't complain with that. But, you know, next time, we're going to just try to do it a bit earlier and see how that goes. Um, we just add to the pack um, of good ones. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was placed in that position. You know, most of the balls go down there, coming down to the end of the innings. And Utapa is a dangerous batsman. And you know, we needed the best fieldsman on the boundary at that point in time. And you know, that time I just went along on, and he actually hit to me. So I had no other alternative but to try to run and, and grasp it. And you know, it came off for us. And you know, that, I think that was a turning point because if he was there for the next couple overs, it could have, the game could have been different. Yeah, um, the first match was a very good batting wicket. It was a bit on the slower side this time. But, you know, having said that, both teams have to play on the wicket. And they went out there and scored 118. And we had no other alternative but to go out there and get our runs. And I think we went out there. We got the run. So, you know, whatever situation comes next game, we're going to just have to be up for it. Yeah, it has been a bit of a distraction, even when we were feeling as well. It was a little bit close to the players. Some of the players are seeing it in their peripheral division as well. So, you know, it's good for the game. It's good for whatever it's necessary there for. But, you know, you need to be take it away from the game, especially when the game is actually going on and the situations are tight because, you know, that could be something frustrating as players. No, I, I won't be pressing hard for a promotion, you know. At the end of the day, we have, out of four games, we have won three games. And the game we lost, we scored 183 runs, you know. Obviously, the batsmen on top, you know, Sachin, Raidu, and those guys are doing the job for us. But, you know, nothing happens before it's time. And hopefully, you know, when my time come around, I'll be able to grasp it and obviously go out there and showcase what I'm over here to do. Um, you know, John T was fantastic as a player, and you know, now as a coach, he just tried to instill that, you know, we do the basics, and, you know, balls that you don't think you'll get, just have a go at it, because you never know it can stick in your hands, and I think he has been instrumental f to us as players, and, you know, the young Indian players as well are learning a lot from him, and, you know, they are coming out to be better fieldsmen, and he's actually showing up in the game as well, so, you know, hopefully we can take whatever knowledge he gives us as players, and try to execute it on the field, you know, feeling is very important when it comes, especially in 2020 cricket. Yeah, it was um, Abu. He really bowled well. Um, he has been bowling well in the nets as well. He has been bowling a lot of balls. And, you know, it's a perfect opportunity for any youngster. He came out, he got the opportunity to play, and he actually grasped it with both hands. And, you know, that's great to see that, you know, we can call on any of the young Indian players <clears throat> at any point in time, and they'll deliver for us. So, you know, that's good. And all the other guys who are waiting on the bench, you know, there's Dawal Kalkani and a couple other Indian youngsters just waiting for the opportunity and hope they take a page out of Abu's book when they get the opportunity and grasp it as well. Um, that's out of my hands. Um, you know, that's for Gail and the West Indies Cricket Board to deal with. Um, I'm here playing for Mumbai Indians, and, you know, whatever is going on back home between both of them, I think they're going to come to some sort of solution, and at the end of the day, it's cricket, so I'm not in a position to say anything on that.